clearly, Wall Street has a huge wall of worry to deal with right now, economic and political issues both domestically and abroad. But lately, the market has not been reacting to a whole lot of that. So what exactly is it waiting for? We're joined tonight by Chris Zaccarelli. He's Chief Investment Officer at Independent Advisor Alliance. Chris, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. We've had, a, you know, years ago, I would have attributed this to the summer doldrums, but anymore, we don't have summer doldrums on Wall Street. But it's certainly acting that way right now. Why do you think that is? Well, you see the markets going sideways. They're waiting to see what's going to happen with corporate earnings, where corporate earnings have really just kicked off in the last couple of weeks. We're about 10 percent of the way through the S&P 500 reporting season, and about three quarters of the, of the companies are beating expectations. But those expectations have been lowered, and in fact, earnings are expected to be flat to even slightly down for the first half of this year. So the market's really not reacting positively or negatively off of that news. It's going to take some type of surprise, whether a positive surprise in earnings or a negative surprise in earnings, in order to move this market now that the Federal Reserve and China seem to be on the back burner f for, the, for the time being. Yeah, I mean, today we should point out, after uh, uh, Fed President uh, Williams said that he feels a, the uh, Fed should be more aggressive with monetary policy, that Fed funds futures are anticipating a 50 basis point cut by the Fed later this month. Is the market setting itself up with uh, expectations that are a bit too high, do you think? It's possible. I think most of the market is priced in a 25 basis point cut. And to your point, just recently, it's now starting to price in 50 basis points. It's possible that's a little bit too much for what the Fed will do. But if you listen to what uh, the Fed, Fed, uh, Fed president said today, he was talking about making a drastic cut and making one in advance uh, of, of it being necessary. So really, they're talking about an insurance rate cut and potentially doing more in a shorter period of time. So he may have been hinting that actually the market was right that they were going to cut, but actually they were going to cut uh, twice as much as expected. So it's possible the Fed in this case is leading the market. And that's why I think you're seeing a repricing in the Fed funds futures. And quickly, of course, as far as trade goes, expectations are about as low as they can possibly get. The, the administration has been guiding lower, it seems, every day. So uh, I guess, if anything, the, the next move there would be higher if we'd get some developments on it, right? I think that's exactly right. I mean, the most likely scenario is that they kick the can down the road, continue to negotiate, and neither talks completely fall apart nor an agreement is reached in, in the near term. And in that case, I would expect us to go sideways. But you're absolutely right. If there's any type of positive developments in trade negotiations, a sign that we're getting closer to the end and then an agreement will eventually be reached, I think that would be very good for the stock market. Chris Zaccarelli with the Independent Advisor Alliance. Again, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you.